Welcome to the first video of a series highlighting and introducing the feature set of the latest Landtime operating system, LTS v7. In this episode, I will give you an overview of the features and configuration possibilities. To be able to use all the features of the operating system, you need to set up your Landtime into your network. For a detailed tutorial on how to implement your time server into your network, please use the following link. Let's begin with the Landtime web interface by connecting to a Landtime time server. This can be done by entering the Landtime's IP address into a standard browser. In the main tab of the web interface, you can find all system relevant information. The main menu is divided into the sections General, Network, Receiver NTP and PTP, Alarms, Power Consumptions and Messages. It gives you general information about the system. Network features. The LAN time is supporting, among others, IPv4, IPv6, bonding and is able to configure up to 99 virtual interfaces on one device. With LTS v7, it now also supports PRP. In the submenu Network Services, you can determine for each network interface which services and protocols should be active on a particular interface. For example, you can define that only one interface is used for secure management services like HTTPS, SSH, SNMP and all remaining interfaces are solely used for timing protocols like NTP. Notifications and Security Another function that LTOS v7 offers is the external monitoring of your time server. System logs can be sent to an external syslog server. SNMP traps or email notifications can be sent when a specific event occurs. Relevant events can be conveniently selected via the event table. Moreover, the status of the LAN time can be polled via SNMP or via a REST API. In the NTP tab, you can, for example, configure that systems are to be synchronized with external NTP servers. The use of various NTP mocks is also possible. If there are PTP components in your system, the PTP tab is enabled. In this tab, you will find a direct overview of the PTP status, the configuration and the packet counter. The system tab is used among other things, for example to change passwords and to register users and admins. You can easily save your personal current configuration on your time server. Additionally, different external authentications are possible, like LDAP, the Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, TechX or RADIUS. NTP and if available PTP status information and statistics are shown in the tab Statistics. Clock preferences can easily be configured in the subtabs of the clock menu. If your time server is an intelligent modular synchronization system, the tab IO config is available to configure the in and outputs of each IMS module in your system. Another great feature is the SyncMon monitoring. With this tool, you can perform system monitoring and it offers an overview of NTP and PTP nodes in your network. This was a short overview of Mindrex Landtime Operating System LTS v7. Detailed information on each LTS feature and function will be explained in upcoming videos of the series. So make sure to follow us on our social media channels to stay informed on new videos. Meinberg, the synchronization experts.